400 years ago, thousands of African Caribbeans sailed across to Britain to help rebuild the nation from the devastating effects of the Second World War. In what is being termed history in the making, a book has been launched to not only remember, but celebrate the decisions made by those very brave men and women that will forever shape lives of the future generations. To go to London to attend the, the combined effort of the Resource Centre, the community and a very creative charity, Multistory, not only paves the way to celebrate history, but also create new ones. The picture in the book is uh, myself in my veteran's uniform and um, I go around the country and do talks. I do talks in church, schools and uh, communities just to tell people about my life that I've spent in the Royal Air Force, which was 36 years as an aircraft engineer. It was fantastic. I traveled the world and I learned a lot. Now, that in itself, I hope, will be um, a lesson to a lot of the youngsters to say they too can actually have a life, if, if it so be, in the military and be successful. For me, that's a very important message. So why was this book launch important? It's important to have our story told. Um, the generation who came in the 50s and 60s are now passing away and a lot of their stories are going with them. So it was important to gather the stories so that we knew we could look back and say, yes, this Mrs. Jarrett experienced this or Mr. John's experienced this, so that it's there in print. The future for myself as well as the book. Um, shall we say the book is obviously history. It's therefore a legacy for things that happen in Sandwell itself but obviously beyond some sandbox, because it tells a story about people coming here, doing their own thing, carrying their own life, and then it's been recorded so we can see exactly what's happened. Also for me, um, we've started a project, which is a project for commissioning a um, monument in the National Arboretum for Caribbean people for over 400 years of service. Now this will be a legacy for everyone, including youngsters, to actually go and see and learn about the history of their foreparents and beyond. You should keep the memory of great people, black people, whether they're black or white, you know, keep the memory of them. You know, it's lovely to be in there. October is a month for us to acknowledge the legacy of black people in this country. It is a time for us to reflect and to celebrate our history and the history of our communities. How humble am I to serve in public office doing what I know best? It's a fantastic but it's a great responsibility the importance of documenting the history of the old people, um, not being scared to ask questions and making sure that that goes down so that, you know, in a hundred years' time, we've got stories to tell, keeping people alive. It's important to be a part of this book because history is very important. It must be documented. And we've learned that a lot of what we've done, especially as Caribbean people, African people, black people, has not been documented and it's very important to make sure our youngsters actually know about what we've done in the past for this country and the Commonwealth. A lot of the youngsters don't have any identity. This provides a focal point and what I do as I go around the country and speak to people is to tell them that they've got a stake in this country. This is their country as well as us because our four parents fought and died World War I, World War II and also the civilians that came across here on Windrush and indeed before that have actually given us a stake in this country. It is ours. And though this generation as others do think might not quite understand the many sacrifices made those many years ago but hopefully with the memories that have been encapsulated in a book forever we will be able to remember for the rest of our lives, both young and old. So, Fazwa Mushipe, big news, West Bromwich. <laughs>